How's it going guys? Welcome back to another video on the channel. So today we are going to be talking about the new milestone that came out last night for the storyline Politano. Now, this is a new thing that EA have done, a milestone for a play, which actually looks very, very decent. This Politano card, you know, this is like a very good card at this stage in the game. To have 91 pace, 88 dribbling, 80, 85 shooting, 84 passing, 65 physical. He also uh, has 4 star skill moves and 4 star weak foot as well which uh, makes him an even better card. So for this milestone, you do have a uh, like, unlimited amount of time to complete it, but I would definitely recommend getting it done as soon as possible because, say, in a month's time, there's not going to be as many people trying to do this milestone uh, when, when it's a month later. You know, everyone's going to be doing it now just to get it done. So basically, the challenge is to score in a match, uh, in three separate matches with every single team in the Serie A. So that is a very tough game. There are three times you have to do it as well. So... Really, you have you could do it in six games, like realistically, but obviously that's that's not going to happen because uh, I mean you're going to be coming up against people in rivals that are just completely tryharding. But I'd recommend if you get into a game against a team that the against another player that's doing this challenge, just pause the game, send him a message saying you know do you want to just boost and let each other let each other score eleven goals with each of our players uh, to get the challenge done. So that's what I'd recommend because there might be a lot of people trying to do this. This is an incredible card. So I'd recommend doing that, Like otherwise it's going to take you absolutely ages. So I'd recommend going into the game, just sending your opponent a message saying, do you want, a, do you want some goals and I'll, and I'll get some goals? Just because it will just make it so much easier. I know it's kind of cheating, but I mean, it's, it's, I mean, a lot of people do it on other objectives, so I'd recommend doing it on this one because it's very, very difficult. So you also, guys, I've never mentioned it. If you, have, if you are enjoying the video and you do go on to enjoy it, I mean, I guess it will quite pretty early in, then drop a like down below, subscribe as well. If you aren't this and you, if you don't want to miss out on any of these hit videos that will help you guys out throughout FIFA 20. But yeah, that's the main tip I'd give. I'll show you guys the team that I'll be using for the first one, for the start of it. I'm going to start doing it on Monday because, uh, I mean, I'm playing Foot Champions this weekend. Uh, but as you can see, you do get two player packs for each, but each one of the objectives completed. So what I'd recommend doing is going into a game and having 11 different teams in your Serie A team. So as you can see, we do have this team right here. It's a very bad team at the moment. We're gonna try and do it with the with the low with the worst teams first. So we got players like Mertens and Jekka, which I'll do later on. But I want to do it. I want to get the bad teams out of the way first. So we're doing it with uh, we're getting players like Balotelli who plays for Brescia, and uh, we got Cagliari player there, and we got Gomez as well who plays for Atlanta, which is actually a pretty decent team. But uh, yeah, as you can see, we've got eleven different players, uh, eleven different players from uh, eleven different teams from uh, from the Serie A. So I'd recommend buying a team like this, getting a getting a player in from each team just so then if you if you get into a game where you can hopefully boost with the opposition uh, then you can score with 11 different teams which will just make it so much quicker so if you do that three times with this team and then I'll build a new team with some better players in which would then have Dzeko up top with Mertens and then I'd have people like Pjanic maybe in the team Linkovic Savic a few decent players in there as well but yeah I definitely recommend starting off with the lower teams because that's obviously going to be harder and at the start, there's going to be more people doing it. So if, it, if you're going to... I mean, for me, I luckily have a few Serie A players that are decent. I have the Dzeko that I did. I have the Mertens. I have Mertens, my, who's in my main team. So there's a few players there that I could, that will just help me out that I should just be able to score goals with very, very easily. Also, so you should know, if you score a goal uh, with, say, let's say I score a goal with Medell and I only need a goal with him, I can quit the game and it will still count, which is decent there. So, um, yeah, that, that just helps you out a lot. But as I say, it's a very difficult objective to complete. If you're doing it legit, then I mean it'll take you a long, long time because it's three matches you're playing with a terrible team in rivals, so it would be uh, it would be very, very tough. But uh, as, as I say, I'd recommend going into a game. That's what I'll be doing, and a lot of other people will be doing it as well. To be fair, they're going into a game just messaging each other, saying let us have the goals. It helps both teams. It helps both people getting the objectives done. And I mean it is a slight problem for you, you know, people going in and then just boosting for the objectives. Like, I don't really know how they can really address that. But they've not already said anything about it, to be fair. So I'd recommend going through and doing that. A lot of people are doing it, I see on Twitter. So I'd definitely recommend doing that. Anyway, guys, if you enjoyed the video, drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're on your own tier. Also, as well with this card, actually, I've not mentioned. This card uh, will get upgraded as well. It's, uh, so it's later on in the year, if, it, if this card, you know, other cards will catch up to it. There's going to be more special cards, which are decent. Uh, so this card will then might get boosted to like a 90-rated card. You know, halfway through the game, maybe in like January, uh, January, February. He could get boosted and have a really uh, even have an even better card. It's an incredible card now, but his card can get even better, which is amazing. So that's another thing worth noting. So that's another, but you know, I definitely recommend doing it because it's a it's an incredible card which can get even better as well. Anyway, guys, that's about do for the video. If you enjoyed it, then drop a like down below. Subscribe if you're new around here, guys. Uh, for regular FIFA 20 content, we are uploading a lot of videos at the moment, and thank you very much for the support. It does really mean a lot to me. Anyway, guys, as I say, thank you for watching. I hope you've enjoyed. 
understand the sin. That's what 